Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Welcome to the final video that I film before we get the official news from Fort Park about their new and exciting roller coaster. And as a result of this being the final video before that news, today I'm going to be sitting down and reacting to five Fort Park roller coaster concepts made by some of you guys. And I'm going to be watching them all today and rating each one out of 10. Um, and hopefully we'll decide our favorite from that list. And who knows, maybe tomorrow the coaster that is announced will be very similar to one of these concepts that I watched. So yeah, the first one that we're gonna get into is this GCI coaster concept by Christian G Coasters. And interestingly, if you watched uh, the video that I put out a few days ago in which you guys all voted for which coasters you think are most likely gonna be coming to Fort Park, obviously GCI came in at number three. I've also got um, the other two top contenders, an RMC and a BNM Hyper also um, to watch today. So stick around for those. But yeah, as I said, first up, we've got this Fort Park GCI coaster concept. Right, so I think most of these have this cool little uh, cinematic bit before um, the actual POV comes. So I might just skip through some of these, but already it's looking pretty cool. And obviously the interesting thing about this one is it seems to be built um, in the place where this new roller coaster could very likely go. It's like wrapping around the back of Saw the Ride. Wow, it looks really cool. Right, so as I said, we're gonna skip forward to the POV. Here we are. So, as you can see, we're kind of leaving the station where almost a Samurai Plaza would be, I think, because obviously you've got Colossus's supports here and Saw there. So I almost picture being like stood right outside of Samurai here. Could be wrong, but I think that's uh, the kind of location where we are. Yeah, so I th oh, don't know, because Samurai would be over there. I'm not sure if they've got rid of Samurai to build this ride, essentially. But here we go, going down the first drop. Oh, that's a very interesting drop. That's really cool how it kind of banked it the, both ways. We go into a nice overbank turn. Obviously, it's a GCI, so we don't commonly go upside down, but I'm pretty sure this one's got an inversion. Just some really nice airtime and banking to start the ride off, though. I still really like that first drop. And here we go into our first inversion, I think. Oh, look at that, over the water. As we come up into another little bank turn. I mean, so far the length of the ride's good, the banking, airtime's all really great. Some nice interaction with Saw the Ride there. I feel like we're in the second half of the ride now and it's just, uh, just kind of meandering back towards the station. But uh, it's certainly quite an impressive one to start off with. There we go, back into the station. And has Samurai... Is there space for Samurai? I think Samurai would have gone. But yeah, I really quite like that one. It was a decent length. There were some great elements in there. And it even had an inversion, which obviously some GCI coasters don't have an inversion, like Wicker Man. Um, whereas some do, because GCI can put that in the coaster if they so want to. Out of 10... I think I would give that a solid 8 out of 10. For me, the second half of the ride felt a little bit lackluster, but, you know, I love the way they used the entire space um, that they kind of had open to them. And yeah, really impressed. So next up, we have a Mac Mega Coaster concept by Jake C. Um, but I think the interesting thing about this one is that it's located over by the Swarm um, on that second island over there. Um, but let's give it a watch nonetheless. So yeah, this is a Mac Mega Coaster, a fantastic um, type of roller coaster. Rides like Icon and Mac Mega Coaster. Well, I think they're technically launch coasters, but pretty much the same, I think. Uh, Icon, Helix, Blue Fire, that kind of ride. So here we are going up the lift hill, which is, let's have a look, uh, 167 feet tall, which is the kind of proposed height that a coaster would have been built on this island if that had happened. Awesome twisted first drop there into a nice theming piece. Coming out into a big airtime here. Whoa, into a, was that an inversion? I don't know. Some great airtime hills there though. It's another really, really cool coaster so far. It's only just begun. The people that make these are so talented. Into another airtime hill. So a lot of airtime in this coaster with some nice theming as well. Obviously, it's quite difficult to theme on games like this because you, you have to design all of that theming yourself. 
Going into another awesome little airtime hill. Oh, we got a few. Awesome bit of bank in there as well. That's honestly one of the pengest like, feelings on a roller coaster. I'd never felt that until I went on Taran and just that overbank turns are crazy. You get so much airtime. Obviously got stealth in the background there. Wow, another awesome coaster there. Just behind the sword. Wow, imagine having that view on a coaster. So yeah, just to be clear, this isn't um, where the new proposed um, roller coaster could be going. Um, that's going to be more over at Old Town. So this is a complete opposite side of the park. But I, I thought this is such a cool concept that technically this kind of ride could go over in Old Town um, with a few adjustments and stuff. But yeah, I really, really like this one. I think out of 10, I think I'd give it a seven. I think some of the elements in there were a bit repetitive, like you just got a lot of bunny heels, but that outbank out turn there is awesome. But I think just because with my experience on rides like Bluefire and Helix, those coasters aren't the most intense rides in the world, um, especially compared to the interming kind of variants of this ride like Tarrant. I love the theming pieces that they also put into this ride. Yeah, really cool. We love a good Mac coaster as well, don't we? Yeah. Right, next up we have a similar kind of style ride, but this one is actually built over in the proposed area um, that our new coaster could be located. That's right, we've got a 2023 coaster concept for an Intamin Blitz um, by Ethan G. So let's give this one a watch. The theming in this from the pictures I've seen looks incredible. Like they've really gone above and beyond with this one. I imagined actually seeing that in Old Town. I mean, unfortunately it wasn't 2021, was it? But wow, look, look how much effort that must have taken. Absolutely amazing. Oh, some people are so talented. Big up Ethan Garrett for this one. Wow. Just imagine, like, if this new coaster does get built, there's going to be, like, new buildings. You know, there's going to be, like, a station. Oh, so cool. Iron Horse. An Intamin Blitz coaster. Oh, so straight into a launch out of the station. Oh, hey, there's Savaroy and there's Saw. So once again, it's in the same kind of position as that first GCI concept that we watched. Here we go into a launch there. Didn't look like the most powerful of launches, but it goes into a nice inversion afterwards. And there's some great theming around this whole area, it looks like. And I do love this track colour. Very nice, bright orange. It would really stand out in Old Town. It would fit into the theme of Old Town. Here we go into the second launch now. Very maverick like that. How it goes into the tunnel and then launches. Oh, what a beautiful view that would be. Into some more beautiful theming. I'm really impressed with this one. into a nice inversion there. Oh, this, this one's very cool. I'm already thinking this is my favorite one that I've watched so far. I love how it kind of weaves in and out of the forest and the rocks. It does feel like the perfect old town coaster, doesn't it? Wow. Over the lake, into the final inversion. I presume so, yeah, there it is into the break run. Wow, so impressed with that one. Yeah, I think that's probably the best concept that I've watched so far. I'd give that a nine out of 10 there. The theming, the layout of the ride, it all just comes together so well. Into what I would say is the perfect Old Town Ghost Like It just looks so good in that area, doesn't it? My only comment would be, and this is so personal, I don't think Thorpe need like this style of coaster yet. I would love to see this ride, but I think it needs either a hyper coaster, an RMC, a wooden coaster before um, the park gets something like this, like a multi-launch coaster. So I love it. Um, and yeah, that's a, my favorite one that I've watched so far. So next up, I have an RMC coaster concept. But this isn't actually a hybrid RMC. This is a T-Rex style RMC. There aren't too many of these actually built in the world. So this would definitely be a huge deal if Fort Park were to go with a coaster like this. But yeah, this one is done by James Taylor. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get straight into it. I think we are straight into the POV with this one. As for whereabouts in the park this is, I'm not too sure just from initial viewing. Once we get to, to the top of the lift hill, I might be able to tell. Let's um, skip it ahead a tiny bit. Are we... 
No, we, we can't really tell whereabouts at Fort Park we are. How about once we get around this corner? I'm just going to try and pause it super quick. Not a clue. I think they've just built like their own area with this one. So we'll presume that this is taking place in Old Town and they've just completely redeveloped the area. Right, let's go. So a beautiful drop on this. These coasters are super intense and super quick. And they just look so crazy, don't they? It would be absolutely mad if the fort were to get a coaster like this. I just think they look so futuristic. And it's taking this layout really quick, isn't it? Oh my god, the amount of airtime you'd get on those hills. Wow. So a short and snappy one there. Are we just going to go... So yeah, we're just going to go into the brake run. Wow, <laughs> that was all over in such a flash. Out of 10, what would I give that? Um, I think... I would say 7. I'm going to give it a 6, just so I'm not saying like the same as everything else. Only because the other ones I've watched have been so good and there wasn't like too much theming in this one and stuff. And I would like to see um, like theming with the next coaster that comes to fort. But yeah, for the style of coaster and the layout that they did with that was really cool. Yeah, I, I, I just don't think I've seen enough of this coaster like to like properly judge it fairly. So it was an awesome coaster. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna give it a six slash seven, slash seven. And that brings me on to the final Fort Park new roller coaster concept, of course. I had to leave it to last. It's a BM Hyper by Dark Star. And this one, I believe, starts in kind of Old Town's area, but it goes around the back of the park, which technically is a possibility. Like Fort Park have said they're wanting to develop Old Town, but who knows if that could uh, stretch out off into different areas of the park. Right, let's give this one a watch. So we've got a big old lift hill here. I don't actually know if it says how tall this ride is. Um, I don't think it does, but obviously a hyper has to be over 200 foot. And, well, and fun fact, BNM actually class anything over 300 foot, also a hyper coaster. It was uh, Intamin, I believe, that actually coined the term um, Giga Coaster which is over 300. BNM just stick with Hyper for anything over 200. Fun little fact for you. Right, what? first of all, I've got to pause it, sorry. Look at that view. I think in the description, um, they do say that this is taller than stealth, which obviously a lot of you think this new coaster will be. Look at that view. If something like this actually gets built, we're gonna have a view like this. How mad is that? That's amazing, isn't it? Right, let's uh, let's carry on. Here we go, down the first drop. Oh my god, it's one thing I love on a hypercoaster is the drop. Absolutely amazing, into a massive airtime hill. Straight into a second airtime hill there. And this is the out and back kind of layout that I was talking about in the video earlier this week. How most B&M hypers have. You go out. Do a cool little turn around and then, oh, look at that banking. That'll be amazing. Oh, yes. Into another airtime hill. Into a mid-course break. That's it. We like the good throughput. Interestingly, the color of this track is like a white and brown. I was rinsing you guys for saying the coaster should have a brown track, but it looks quite nice, doesn't it? I mean, this one, it, it does take up a lot of room, but wow. Wow. As you can see, they've kind of used um, satellite um, pictures to actually map this out. So technically it could fit at Fort Park. Wow, what an awesome ride that was. That was so, so impressive. As we go into the break run, I think I'd also give that a 9 out of 10. That was a great layout, a good length. And just, wow, imagine having that for, that would be insane. So yeah, as you can see, we actually have a location for this ride. That's um, Creek Freak Massacre there. And that's like the um, like hub, I think it used to be called. And it wraps around where Slammer would have been. Wow, that's a really, really cool concept. I'm very impressed with that one. So yeah, those were the five coaster concepts there, guys. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favourite. I think for me, it was definitely either that last B&M Hyper Coaster or the Intamin Blitz that was uh, in Old Town. Both of those were amazing. But to be fair, any of those five coasters, I would be more than happy to have as the next coaster at Fort Park. And yeah, at this point, the next video that you watch on this channel 
will, I presume, be talking about the consultation and kind of, we will hopefully have a load of news about what this new coaster could actually be. So yeah, so exciting. Thank you for all of the support on all of the videos this week and that I've ever uploaded. I really, really appreciate the support. And yeah, I shall see you all very, very soon. So exciting. Thank you all for watching. My name is Jack Silkstone. Good bye. Yeah, my team front row when we jump on a train. Got the merch on repping SLK. Island flex when I step through the gate. Come true fresh with the style on flames. Drip it out now I'm vibing. Link with the boys, jump straight to the island. Silkstone flex on a wave like tidal. Style so crazy, I hit it in a silent. Value style on summer all flex. Brand new vibe, got them all impressed. That's I plus you on the island. Rep repping at SLK STN.